Isolated up above, and the Legion's traps, and he almost gets two on the flick up oh. top. NGR with a clean double, though. Yes, you want, you want to drop? Play a retake? Uh, spoiler. He's not going to be able to hop through that the way that he wants to, but what a find! Backside, every angle, Beast goes try. Oh, man. 1x. Especially at range, it can be. Westers, 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 Westers. No! Practically on perfect pace with the kills that they've garnered, but hot and cold in spirits. And then no. NGR, he somehow killed Nate, and it's a it's train. Train. Oh my god! Beast Coast! They might be in eighth place, Nick, but they are not far removed from the top teams. Wild Carter in third place, and they are at eight points. DZ and LG are in seventh and eighth, and they are at six points. So. A win in regulation for DZ would actually put them in third place. That's how close it is. And hey, taking out the best player in the league in Newers is a pretty good start for Dark Zero. I mean, it is. And you know, Panda's one of these players that he thrives off momentum. When it gets going early, it's normally Panda party time. That's the old saying where he will just not slow down and take it on Newers. That's going to give some good confidence, but then they didn't fall shortly after. And the pose is a very big strategical win condition for this vertical bomb side of Archive's Tellers. You want that pose scanner down below. You want the C4 utility. That's gone from play now. Sure, they got the Maestro. They got the Solus. They have backup options here for DC. They still can play it out the way they're supposed to, but they can't lose any more members like the Lost Canadian to Verticality. No, and I mean, there might be some finger pointing in this season about the roles that Canadian plays on. We consider the fact that, well, he's, he's not exactly the greatest mechanical player. His game sense is good, and there's no questioning his IGLing. But you're getting to a point now where if you're going to be roaming, as Pambazoo was doing, as mm. Canadian was doing, you need to be able to win your duels. And the problem is, is that Canadian has had those struggles in the past. Maybe playing safer roles, maybe not playing Solus, Vigil, Pulse. Maybe that would help DZ, especially with the aimers that they have on the team. There's no denying the mechanical skill of the other four players. In fact, Bolo might be one of the most mechanically gifted players to ever come out of North America. Rely on those players to get the kills. Oh, no, I suppose Canadian will say that, hey, I need to play these roles to be a better IGL. He knows better than we do. He's a multi-time world champ. That said, all the killing that's happening was at the hands of DZ. He has his last alive for OXG in this Teller's bomb site, and he'll die to Bolo. DZ win the first round. <laughs> through a window or over a wall into a frost matter hitting an EDD as they walk through a doorway. But they also give information. So Canadian, if he hears one of those go off, he'll be able to say, yeah, there's one over here. Or even if they get shot, it will slow down these attackers and work against the speed that OXG has shown so far through much of this stage. Has done that. I mean, one minute, ten seconds. They're entering the building up. They got yellow pings. They got good intel, and they get the opening kill. Nurus. They're working with Gomez. They found two apiece actually, and now OXG. They're speeding up. Dark Zero. They don't find anything on the exterior roam. But again, they're still having NG up there. C4 Lance Canadian. So DC. Again, they still got those win conditions in mind. They've lost their main hard breacher, but they've still got guns on their side. Able to pack a punch with the buck and the ash. Viewers in particular on that Ash can do so much damage, but Gomez has really been the standout performer for OXG. He's had terrific rounds. He's able to do a lot of this on his own, and I think both Diaz and Gomez look far more comfortable on this OXG roster than they did on the M80 roster. Maybe that's a hot take to be had. It's also a much smaller sample size. They played a lot more games with M80 than they have with OXG. Right now, they are gelling, and it looks like Oxygen have made the roster moves needed to be real winners, and they haven't dropped a game just yet. Now the rubber meets the road. Where is your diffuser? Five seconds left. Canadian far enough back. He's holding them at bay. He has, on the final second, will start the plant. But Bolo is there to scare him off, and DZ will go up 2 nothing. Sound Hopefully is uh, that means the casting control. will improve as well. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's hard to cast out sound, you know? You don't hear those small cues all the time. Like that C4. It's quite challenging. Yep. You can't hear things going off. You can't hear the explosions. You don't know where people are coming from. This is the first round where there hasn't been an early death so far. Newers is so close to dealing with Bolo. That's a, 
honestly, it's a dream matchup. Two exceptionally talented, skilled players, mechanically Ooh. gifted. Newers thought he had the all clear. He did not. Polo persists in this spot. Amazu kill as well. Polo had a lineup onto Diaz, who swung the door in a pre-fire from the vector. Will tear shreds through OXG. Just Dream and Gomez. Oxygen in trouble early on. Easy have not suffered a single point of damage. I mean, this is there for the take, and I mean, they're just dying to the fire right now. Relax, okay? Dream, Gomez, slow down, wait here, 20 seconds, right? Tick, tick, tock, there we go. Into the room, try and hold the crossword. Guess what? Another winged condition. Toxic Babe denies the entry. They're forced to go somewhere else. Down goes Dream. Flawless round on the books right now for DZ as multiple players will all try to hunt down Gomez. Pambazoo, a multi-kill. We got the bourgeoisie on the board, folks. Got the what now? Bourgeoisie. 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 That was a reference solely for Lynx, by the way, and I'm sure he enjoyed it. Aww. Such a good friend to Carter. I do I try my best? He is my son. He's after all. Son. Yep. <laughs> after the way through the round, OXG's focus is on that garage wall. Looks like they've opened it up. They also strike first. There's Newers on yellow stairs, asserting himself ever closer to the bomb site after killing Pambazoo. Good start. Got Yawk on the Nurk for the flank late round. Comes off the side, execute. So this is OHD striking from multiple locations. For once, you see it here, the flank starting on the Visa staircase. Can't be seen by those cameras, but can be heard. You know, like a silent or reduced audible, you know, audio with that gadget activation. That was a Nurk Nurk that came out six months ago. Dream, fire, smoke, OHD go, Yawk flank. That's the whole game plan right now for OHD. Polo amidst the smoke will try to reposition NJR the first kill for DZ. Diffuser being pinged by Canadian as he's allowing all of DZ to get their licks in. NJR a huge round so far. All three kills. Now he's dropped by Yaga, who's sensational in this spot on Nook. You thought that Nook didn't really have a spot in pro play, did you? Yaga will need to clutch out now in the 1v2 or DZ goes up 4 nothing. Yaga had gone over to M80 during SI. Now back to OXG, but still playing with Gomez and Diaz as he was in Brazil. Canadian will see exactly where that diffuser is going down. Will he put himself in harm's way? He allows it to go off. Imperative that he and Bolo work together. Bolo gets the kill. Who gets the diffuser, though? That's the question. Do you give it to the Bodog? Do you give it to Jason Doty? Does Troy Jaroslavski get it? Comedian, as some would call him. I'm not sure. We didn't get to see it. Four nothing though for DZ. I don't know if Visa if he wants to go back upstairs or down below. Yaga's got a read on his cross. If the silhouettes don't betray me, this might be a very tough spot for Canadian. Uh, uh, Newers walks in up top. In the managers. From admin, Pan Bazoo's got so many bullets in that P90. Hasn't reloaded, still has 28 more. OXG took their time out. They lost the next round. The round after, this one right here. Gomez and Newers are gone, and there's 90 seconds left. Uh, that was just bad for Oxygen. The drone arrived to find the roamer after both members had died on the entry, so they're being sold. I mean, I don't blame Yawk for that death, because what are you going to do here? You're playing 3v5, but Oxygen, they're the team where they look disjointed. They're not droning for each other. They're not playing together. They're not getting into the building, and they look frustrated. And I mean, DC are doing a great job of making it difficult for them. It's hard to problem solve right now. And if you start falling apart in those early engagements, you get frustrated in the server. You start tilting a little bit. The guns aren't hitting their marks. It's tough, man. But you gotta do something here. You might as well just go for a side rush or something because clearly the, the good old default takes for oxygen are not working. DC, full counterplay. Bamazoo holding court up top. Crossing the projector. As long as he can actually Defender hold this out, he might be in good spot, but he's gonna go for a run through main door. This is as clear as it can get. Nobody from OXG to catch him. Dream <laughs> in hot pursuit. Is this really the best use of your time? 
Everybody from Dark Zero Ooh. still alive. There we go. Pamazoo might have overstayed his welcome. A labyrinth of closed doors awaits Dream. 15 seconds. You guys will need to link up with him. Spots a player from DZ, but Dark Zero are so adept at playing keep away. Dave has had a very quiet game. He gets on the board by killing Dream in this round. And there's Bolo with the shotgun. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm putting my money on Gomez here. <laughs> okay. I believe in Troy. Come on. Come on, Troy. Okay. I was right. You're right. I'm sorry. Gomez destroys Canadian down below. I think the bigger thing for the Pulse, though, was just simply wasting the time. And again, if you've got Bolo playing the way he has, NJR having a... Three piece in one round. Pambazoo. Multiple multi kill rounds. Two to be in fact. Two, in fact. Is great. I mean, you don't need to do anything. All you need to do is just waste time. And that's exactly what Canadian did. I know I started off this broadcast by pointing my finger at Canadian and saying, you know, hey, maybe we might start to be a bit critical about the roles that he plays on and the operators in particular, but it seems to be working out here. I knew that Dark Sir would bounce back at some point. Hmm. I didn't expect this kind of fall off for OXG though, Nick. Oh my. Not either. Were you were you coughing because of the smoke on your screen? Because that's exactly what Dream was doing, and then Gomez dies to NJR, who's still holding this same position. Talk to you, but you ain't. Toxic canister to out, and Dream is just at this point just waiting. Nafe has one more toxic babe with 35 seconds left. This is well timed by Dark Zero. No one's helping Dream, by the way. Uh, he's trying to set things up being the bait player. They're going to try and go into that CEO window, but if no one helps Dream, he cannot progress. Last toxic bait, though OHC very slow execute here. He's going to walk in DZ. Doubling up on those kills. Dream has been the star of the show from a spectator perspective. Who from DZ will get this last kill? Bolo. 11 and 0 to start the first half. Good God, Dark Zero. Didn't Bo have like a 0, 0.00 rating game recently where he was like 0 and 8? And then now he's 11 and 0 with that. But it's gonna probably be a very high rating after this game ends, assuming that DC, of course, they take it soon. And we don't go all the way to overtime or something like that because if you're a DC fan, you know that there's this thing where it goes well, it looks easy for a moment, and then all, before you know it, it's like overtime and, you know, they win out eventually, but it's such a struggle and it. Great heart attacks with their fans. DC are playing it very slow and methodical right now. They want to get the early pick. When I pick this apart, it's a limited top four take. Kind of like on Cafe, where they take, they take like one control of like admin, they do verticality, they rotate downstairs, and they attack the bomb set instead. But with Solus open, you can read that. You can see where those air jabs are, destroy them, see where those drones are, go for a flank. Neurus also has a good read. They know where the attack is coming from, but DC, they're progressing. They got the drone, they got the guns behind it, and they're moving Watch forward out. and closing in on the bump side itself. I don't know if you saw this, but the other day in the OS League, the Circular Spheres goofed at the best rating that we've ever seen right. tracked. I Siege GG at a 2.85. And that's because Goop went 15 and 0. Olo at 11 and 0 is certainly trying to challenge that. Almost as if he took that personally. Mind you, he wasn't the one that was holding on to that rating. So it's not like he lost anything, but certainly a terrific performance from Bolo. Playing on Ram, when you look at the lineup from DZ, Bolo might not be one of the main points mm. of the spear. So if DZ does win this oh, round, no. it's a high likelihood that Bolo might survive the whole way. This is very, very bad though. Carving into the wall does not allow Canadian to get through. He has no protection. There goes a nitro cell. Pamazoo dies. Newer's trading off. What? Nafe goes down. Canadian goes down. Polo, save the KD. You just need to live for another second. Don't die. Good. Job done. OXG wins the round. Bolo survives. At this current point in time, Bolo living through all of these rounds might be more valuable than OXG winning the round. But if you're ever going to mount a comeback, you got to start with the first win, and that's what OXG gets done on their very first defense. This is something that obviously because we couldn't hear the desk, <laughs> we didn't know, but it was indeed 0 and 8. So yeah. you, were, you were correct about that one. Jesse actually mentioned it, and it was Bolo's worst game of his career, which is a heck of a time to have it. It's one of the Always worst Always going to have ever. a worst game of your career. It exists for everybody, but... I mean, I guess to have it in a, a middle stage match when things are not Stay close. as bad as they could be, why not? Get it out of the way. Slump early and catch fire when it matters the most. 
Dark Zero on fire so far through this match against OXG. 6-1, the score line, as you can see on the top of your screen. OXG knows the assault coming from the east side of this map. And there's the Monty, taking a lot of damage. Grandma Pambazoo looking to strike Gomez oh, in what? the top spot. <laughs> Finished off by Canadian. Not long enough, though. He's dropped, but not dead. Come to blows, both teams. There goes Diaz Pambazoo in on it. Goodbye, Yaga. 12 and 0 for Bolo. He doesn't die. DZ wins the match. 12 0 for Jason Doty. Oh, boy. DZ destroy the number one rated team in North America.